Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Confidence CEO podcast. So today, what I wanted to be talking about is business wins and celebrating your business wins, because I think this is something that quite often doesn't get talked about enough. In the small business world, in the business world generally, we get really, really caught up with talking about our big goals and setting big goals and this is what I'm striving for, this is what I'm going to achieve and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, obviously we talk about goal setting a lot on this podcast. We've done several episodes about setting, um, you know, about setting goals, about setting aligned business goals. But what do we actually do when we achieve those goals? Do we just move on to the next one? Do we celebrate what we've what we've done. So that's what I want to be diving into the podcast now for this episode. So if you're watching on YouTube, you've probably seen this very cute plant that sat behind me. This was a Christmas present. Yes, it is made out of Lego because fun fact about me, I can't keep plants alive, which you might find a little bit strange because those of you who know my background as a nurse, yes, I can keep people alive. I have kept people alive. It's, you know, it's my career. Um, But I cannot keep plants alive. I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I water them. I've been known to underwater plants and they die. I have overwatered plants and they die. I just, I, I can't look after plants. So as a bit of a joke, my husband bought me, well, not as a joke, it's a very lovely present because we are very Lego obsessed in this household. Um, very Lego obsessed. But as a present for Christmas, he bought me this wonderful orchid, which is Lego. So I spent Christmas week building it. It didn't take as long as a whole week, but I had to keep going back to it. Um, and yeah, so this is my lovely Lego plant, which if I manage to kill this plant, I feel like that will be a um, that will be an achievement since it's just made out of plastic. What you'll also notice if you're on YouTube is this lovely big year planner that I've got on the wall. There's pink writing on it. There's not too much at the moment. What I have been doing with this is I really wanted a visual aid to be able to just something look at a glance to see what is going on in the business year. So what I did was I went onto Google and I looked at all of the bank holidays, the international days of whatever, the months of whatever, um, you know, the different things that are celebrated in different days and different months. And I've written them all out on this yearly planner. And this is going to feed into my social media plan for the year. So then when there's things like World Book Day, when there's Mental Health Month, when there's Mental Health Week, um, Parents Day, Valentine's, I don't know, just trying to think of things off the top of my head. There's absolutely, you know, National Writing Day. It's all on there. I've pulled out all of the national and international days and months and weeks, celebrating different things, which I feel are quite relevant to my business and to you guys as well. Um, And I think that that's going to help me plan my social media and my podcast episodes and just generally a lot about business, my different launches. So that is all happening on there. I find that really, really helpful. The website that I used, I will try and find it again. If I can, I'll link it down in the show notes because if you're planning out your social media posts or just anything over the year, I think you will find that very useful. So on that note, let's jump back to celebrating our goals and celebrating our business wins. Because as I said, I think quite often as small business owners, we do, we just get so wrapped up and this is my goal and this is my, how I'm going to make it smart. You know, this is how I'm going to action plan it. This is what I'm going to do. These are my steps that I need to do in order to complete this task or this goal. This is my launch strategy. But what do we do when we actually achieve whatever it is that we've, that we've achieved? And, you know, these wins, they don't need to be massive. It could be that you booked that podcast guest that you have been dying to book for ages. It could be that you did a blog post swap and you got your blog post published on a website that you're really, really excited about. It could be that it was your first blog post guest publishing post. You know, it doesn't mean that you had to get featured in Forbes or Business Insider. It could be any website and it was the first one. How are you going to celebrate that? Or maybe you had a launch of an online course and only three people signed up. And I say only facetiously because you might have only had four people as your maximum intake. But, 
you know, some people might turn around and go, oh my God, I only got three people signed up or I only took 150 pounds or I don't know, whatever it is. But actually, how can we turn that around and celebrate that and say, this is your first launch and you managed to get three people sign up to your online course or you're a brand new coach, you launched your coaching program and you have just got your first one-to-one client signed. Now, yes, that first one-to-one client might not pay your mortgage or your rent for that month. They might not sign on for the next 12 months and guarantee you a 12-month income. But that doesn't matter. You've signed that one-to-one client. You've proven that somebody out there wants what you're offering. And if one person wants what you're offering, more people are going to want what you're offering as well. And I think it's really important to celebrate those wins. Now, I'm not saying that every single time you get a business win, you have to go out and spend, I don't know, 200 quid on a on a fancy meal out or whatever, or book a holiday. It'd be nice. I mean, if you can do that, yeah, totally go for that. But it could be that you take five minutes to yourself and you think, do you know what? I'm switching off tonight. I am going to watch that TV program that I've had on record or I've had sat in my Netflix watch list for weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm going to sit down and watch it with a hot chocolate with a slice of cake or ice cream. I don't know, my rewards always tend to be very food related. (laughs) But the point is, is it's just taking the time to celebrate those, those wins, because it's important to not just always be on that hamster wheel of constantly thinking, right, I've achieved that, I've now got to move on to the next thing. Because if you're constantly doing that, then you start to feel really deflated incredibly quickly because there's no celebration, there's no excitement, there's no, this is what I'm working towards. And like I said, it could be that the reward or the celebration is relatively small. And if you're somebody like me, who's a complete workaholic, then your celebration could be that you're then like, right, I've got one client. Now I've got to work to get the next client. And that could be really exciting. That could be a reward for you. But it's important, I think, to take these rewards as not always business related. It could be that you decide you're going to go and get your nails done that month because you haven't had your nails done the last couple of months. And actually, damn, you feel like you deserve it. It could be that you're going to take the afternoon off. You could be that you're just going to take a walk down the beach. Whatever it is, it's always important, I think, to celebrate things. It could be that, you know, in one of your WhatsApp friendship groups, you WhatsApp people and say, oh my God, I've just achieved this. And you know what? You were just completely selfish for 10 minutes and you just revel in people messaging you back saying, wow, well done. That's absolutely incredible. Or you put a non-self-promotional post in a Facebook group. And I say that because a lot of Facebook groups don't allow self-promotion, but you know, you put a post in the group and you just are selfish for five minutes and just enjoy people saying, yeah, congrats congratulations that's that's really that's really good but as i said i think it's important to to celebrate to celebrate little wins or big wins so i'm going to give you an example you've probably listened already to the um, episode where i say that i got the trademark and if you haven't go back and listen to that it was a great episode loved recording it and i did a whole little vlog thing for YouTube as well. So I will try and remember to link those. So listen to those um, episodes and watch that video. But to some people, they might think, well, is that really a win? You know, you, I got the trademark, but so what? It didn't mean that my business automatically blew up and got in front of a million people's, you know, feeds or whatever. It doesn't mean that I automatically got a cash injection into the brand. But to me, that was a huge win. I have got a registered trademark as part of my business and as part of my brand. And I think that is amazing. So why not celebrate that as as a win? How many businesses, and I genuinely don't know the answer to this, but how many businesses can say that they've got a trademark as part of their brand? So hell, why not celebrate that? Why not just, I think what I did actually was I went and ate a load of biscuits and I made myself a cup of tea because like I said, my rewards tend to center around tea and um, tea and food, particularly biscuits. But you know, why, why not? Why not just take that time to be like, yeah, do you know what? I did this. And, you know, I recorded a a podcast episode because to me, that was a win to be able to share that, share that information with you guys, my lovely listeners. And I messaged my husband and I reveled in him saying, congratulations. I'm busy. I'm at work, but congratulations. And yeah, it's just, 
it's it's the little it's the little ways that you can that you can reward yourself as well it was like when the journals got launched for example what did i do my personal win my personal celebration for when the journals launched i went out and i got my nails done now that might not seem like a celebration to some people some people get their nails done incredibly regularly i tend to, i go through periods i have to say i will be on a few months straight where I get my nails done quite religiously and then I just kind of forget to book in and then my nail tech she is absolutely amazing and she gets booked up so quickly like months in advance um so then I'll like forget to book and then before I know it I can't book in with her for ages and I've got this weird loyalty thing about like who is the same with my hair I've got this weird loyalty thing about who I who I see and who I go to so yeah, and then I'll like fall off the bandwagon with that and then I'll jump back on it again and get my nails done again quite religiously. As you can tell, they're not really done at the moment, but so you can see which cycle I'm going through. But my point is, is, you know, it was a celebration for me to launch the journals. So as my as my win, as, you know, as for me celebrating, I went and got my nails done because why not? The point that I'm making is that when you set your goals what I like to do is just think about how are you going to celebrate that win? And that's something that I'm working on with the Confidence CEO range at the moment. I'm currently working on planners, which are coming, going to come out to accompany the journal. Um, it's something that's been requested. Quite a few people have said, well, you've done the journal. When are you going to branch into planners? The answer is in 2023. I promise you I'm finalizing the um i'm finalizing the drafts and the layouts at the moment and the covers which have just run polls on my instagram and my linkedin and thank you for everybody who voted it's really surprised me the answers that came out about the covers but very excited so i'm just finalizing the planners but in one of the pages that i'm doing for one of the planners is around goal setting and particularly business goal setting and one of the questions is how are you going to celebrate achieving this goal because I think it's all very well sitting down and saying you know this is my specific goal this is how I'm going to achieve it this is my action plan I want it done in this time frame this is how I'm going to measure my success but when you actually achieve that success how are you going to celebrate that so I wanted to include that question as part of this particular part of that particular planner because I think it's really, really important to celebrate those wins, you know, give yourself that pat on the back, because especially as small business owners, if you're working independently, if you're not patting yourself in the back, if you're not celebrating your wins, and if you're not congratulating yourself, then who is? Yes, okay, you might have your lovely family and friends around, you might have people on WhatsApp groups and Facebook groups and all the rest of it. But it comes back to that idea of confidence and that idea of self-belief. You need to congratulate yourself. You need to take time to celebrate your own business wins as well. And as I said, it doesn't have to be anything huge. You don't have to, you know, book a holiday to the Caribbean every time you get a business win. It could be that you go and make yourself a cup of tea and say, do you know what? I'm not doing anything for the next half an hour. I'm going to go and catch up on that Netflix show that I'm watching. I am going to buy myself that top that's been sat in my ASOS basket for ages and I just haven't ordered it. I'm going to go and order that new book that I want to read. I'm going to sit down and read that book that I have that I ordered and bought and haven't, haven't looked at. Whatever that business win is, or whatever that um, celebration, I should say, is, it doesn't matter how big or small it is. What's important is you celebrate your goals and you celebrate your business wins. So I'm going to wrap up there. I hope that you are already celebrating your business wins and your business successes. And I would love to know how you celebrate your business wins and your business successes. So either head on over to Instagram at Verity Songon and drop me a DM. I would love to know how you celebrate wins and successes. Or if you are watching on YouTube, drop a comment down in the boxes below drop a comment in the comment section below I should say um, because I would love to know how you celebrate your wins and your successes and maybe we can share some ideas we've already said that most of my center around food and cups of tea um, but yeah I'd love to know how you celebrate your business wins and your business successes as well so let me know 
If you're listening and watching on YouTube, please comment, like, subscribe, all of that goodness. I'm really trying to build my YouTube channel at the moment. My last video seemed quite successful, which is exciting. Um, but I would love to continue to build my to build my YouTube channel. If you're listening on the podcast, don't worry, I'm not abandoning the podcast for YouTube at all. I am just diversifying and trying to reach more people with the confident CEO message of helping people to, you know, just see behind the scenes and really grow and scale their businesses in an aligned manner as to the business that they want to, that they want to create. So don't worry, the podcast is saying exactly as it is. But unfortunately, unlike YouTube, there's no comment section for the podcast. So head over to Instagram at Verity Songon and comment, um, send me a DM, I mean, um, let me know how you celebrate your business wins and successes. That's all for now. It was great chatting to you as ever. And I will see you over in the next episode.